Mr. Catroni. How do you do, sir? We're from Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, you know, CBC Television, and uh, we're just wondering if uh, is, is actually doing. What do you want? No, no, it's okay. We don't want anything. That we just want. Mr. Catroni, it has been alleged that you are the head of the Montreal Mafia. Oh, no. I'm the head of nobody. I'm the head of myself, that's all. Well, they, they said that you were the godfather oh, of the Mafia. Godfather, right? It's not true? No. I mean, I just came here to see my sister, that's yeah. all. We wanted to ask you if you knew who so killed um, Mr. Violi's Mr. There. Violi. You know, know. Like what the situation is on that? I don't know nothing about that. Really? You don't know anything about it? Well, the, we heard about somebody by the name of uh, Mr. Rizzuto. Uh, do you know anything about Rizzuto? No. No? I don't know nothing about him, eh? No. Because that we heard that it was a feud between the Calabrisians and the Sicilians. I don't know nothing. No? Uh. Is, is, does the name mean anything to you, sir? Uh, no. Rizzuto, Nick Rizzuto. Niccolo Rizzuto? Uh, I mean, you've uh, never heard of him before. I heard some time, it's all. Yeah. No more than that. Yeah. yeah. We were wondering if your group, and here again, it's been said that you are head of the Montreal Mafia, if your group has been hurt in the last few years. Every time you want to see me, I'm alone all the time. I don't know nobody. Right. That's interesting. When you want, want to say that, for me, that's not true. Yeah. No, nothing. I'm not wrong to think by that. But how, how did the death of uh, your friend, Mr. Violi, how did that affect you? Because he's my my compadre, so he's my friend. Yeah. I, when that thing happened, I, I should have not liked that. I, I, he helped me just say. Yeah. I don't know think about that. I don't know nothing yet. Like, what kind of work have you been doing all your life? In my life. Yeah. What kind of work have you I done? Company that we make pepperoni for the pizza before. That's all. You make pepperoni for yeah. pizza. Yeah. I see. I and see. I don't do nothing. Yeah. Me, I come every day see my sister here, so. Yeah. Why is it that you are charged with things like loan sharking, uh, that you're in charge of the protection rackets? Oh, what protection? Where? Where? I don't see nothing by that. Well, they, that's what they have said. Oh, what they said. Basically, it's all What's being run under... What's the truth? saying. Yeah. You, but, but is it not true? That's not true. No, not true. It's, it's not true that uh, a number of people work under you dealing with these various things. That's not true. I think that's true. How close were you to Louis Greco? Was he a friend of yours? He's my friend, yeah. Yeah. He died a number of years ago, right, in the yeah. fire? Yeah. yeah. There were people that said that you and he were equals in the organization at that time. No, no, that's not true. Not true? How was he, I mean, was he not on, on the same level as you? Was he not a friend of yours? He's my friend, that's all. How about, for instance, Mr. O'Bron? Yeah, he's he, me, I buy the meat from him, that's all. Yeah. That's yeah. all what they... It was, it was, there were stories in the paper that said that O'Bron laundered millions of dollars for you. He's broke, this guy. He's broke? He's, you know, no money. Yeah? That I know. He had a lot of money at one time, though, right? <laughs> because he, the guy liked gambling, that's all. He liked gambling? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah. I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have a good day.